I just finished this airbrush illustration of Spawn. Uh, it turned out pretty good. I liked it. Um, I didn't have any stencils or anything for this one. I just honestly just freehanded the whole thing. Um, and I want to say it was like close to four, maybe five hours into this. Uh, that's including my breaks and stuff. But yeah, like I took a lot of time to kind of get the shapes down and proportions relatively close to where they should be. <laughs> Um, ended up using mainly uh, the golden airbrush acrylic uh, paints and you can get those at any like art supply store and just use my regular little small uh, Iowata airbrush and tiny compressor and it pretty much did the job there. <laughs> I didn't have to refill too many times. Well, I did switch out paint quite a few times so I should take that back but it didn't require me to refill it as I was painting. I pretty much got all the coverage I needed. Uh, just when it came to clearing out the paintbrush itself or the airbrush itself uh, usually you have like a small little spray bottle full of water kind of flush it out into a little paper rag off to the side of me and then when it's done uh, kind of blow a little bit of air to clear the way and then put more paint in i wanted to say briefly right here uh, basically when you're getting colors on a dark background you want to put down like a white base and then color on top of it I did that initially basically coloring in black and gray and did some color on top of that. You will lose some of the uh, sharper contrasting uh, tones. So you probably will have to go back over with white and uh, black to kind of get those highlights and shadows back. It's kind of incorporating different techniques you would use if you were to try to paint uh, like smoke and flames and stuff. I kind of used that for some of his cape and also with the hair and um, for the violator clown uh, character in the background there and for the eye the little smoky eye i kind of went um, multiple times with the, the uh, layers there there's a video i saw of uh, someone using spray cans and created like a neon effect and i kind of incorporate that uh, in this as well you essentially put down the white base coat and the color that you want and then you go and get a really fine line by getting real close in the center of that this, um, color that you just painted uh, with white again and it gives you like this really nice like neon kind of effect for some of the texturing all i did was use like short bursts of air to, and really close to get these really tiny dots but you can use stencils if you want to get that like little textury look added a couple layers of gloss to this thing and i'm gonna call this done let me know what you think. What would you like to see me paint next? 